Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this All Blacks career mode. We are sitting in first still. There's only two matches left, so if we win this one, we are going to be the Quad Nations 2022 champions. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But we are up against Argentina. They were almost able to beat us last time. It was a last minute try that saved us. So hopefully it won't come down to that again. But anyway, let's get right into this match. Getting to the business end now of this competition. Former All Black Justin Marshall is here with me. And plenty at stake in this game, Justin. Thanks a lot, Nisbo. Big match up for sure. Players couldn't wish for a better service than they'll get. Here. Right, so I am still trying to make my way through as many of your requests as I can. We've got Tyrell Lomax starting at three for this match, and Dane Coles is back in that number two jersey. Instead of being 10 like last match, Fafita is in that number four jersey. Whitelock is in number five, and he is the captain for this match against the Pumas. Then we move into the backs, and we've got Geordie Barrett at 10, was requested. Then we've got Caleb Clark, Lau Mape, Lennart Brown, and Sevi Reese because another request was we want an all out power backline. And then the one that I was dreading the most, but I have made it happen. Offa Tuanga Fasi is in that number 15 jersey for this match. So hopefully Argentina don't have too many runaway opportunities because I'm not sure whether Tuanga Fasi will be catching them. And then that is our bench. Nothing too special there other than the fact that we have got Umanga Jensen who will possibly make his way onto the field for Lennart Brown perhaps. But that is the team for this match. So many of these players are here from different backgrounds coming together as one to perform the haka. So Sam Whitelock leading that hucker for the first time in this series. Geordie Barrett will be kicking off for this match against the Pumas. Like I said, they almost beat us last time, but a last minute try managed to save us. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Whitelock already ripping the ball away. Goes to DJ Berenara, out to Lennart Brown. One more draw and pass out to Caleb Clark. He's got Geordie Barrett on his outside. Oh, he's offloaded to Dane Coles. And what a try that is for the All Blacks. That's how you start a match against a team that almost bet you last time. Dane Coles back in the number two jersey, showing the pace of a back there to get into the support run. Yeah, very good try for the All Blacks. Tackle, Sam Whitelock rips the ball away straight away. Berenara to Lennart Brown, one more out to Caleb Clark who goes on the inside to Geordie Barrett. Look at that offload straight to Dane Coles in the support and he scores the try. Geordie Barrett now taking this kick. There is a little bit of wind at Eden Park at the moment. So hopefully that one will still go over. It might be close now, it is going to be fine. So the score now is going to be 7-0 to the All Blacks. And we scored within the first five minutes, which is very good to see. It is their number 10 kicking off for Argentina. Not the start they would have been after, that's for sure. He has kicked long and high. So it will be Lennart Brown's ball, will it? Yes, it is. And he has tackled well. I'm wondering whether kicking this might be the smarter option in this situation. Lennart Brown... No, it's not Leonard Brown. I'm not sure what I'm on about, but Perinara has kicked that one. The number 15 has it covered well, though. Tyrell Lomax having a bit of a charge, and he is driven backwards in the tackle. Perinara now passes it to Whitelock. One more out to Leonard Brown. Goes into the hands of the number five. Kiriwani not quite able to rip that one away. Sam Kane steals that back. No, it's Joe Moody who got that one. So the All Blacks have got that ball straight back now. Kiriwani now passes out to Caleb Clark who passes to no one but Lel Mape dives on that one to keep it in the field of play. Perinara sticks the little grubber through. A little bit of a different tactic. Didn't quite work out for us though. 
So I don't know whether I will be trying that again. The number 10 now passes it out, but once again intercepted by the All Blacks. Jordy Barrett driven backwards in the tackle. So we're not really going anywhere at this point, which isn't what we really wanted to see. We want to get some metres and it's starting to come into play now. Seve Reese out to Leo Mape, but he is tackled. Sam Kane now passes out to Whitelock. Goes to Jordy Barrett. One more soft pass. Caleb Clark has tackled by the Puma. So their defence is holding up once again, Argentina. I think we caught them off guard with that first try. But now they are well and truly paying attention. That's a forward pass from Piranara. So we are going back for the scrum to the Pumas. And I have to say I'm not looking forward to when the Pumas are on attack. Because of the fact we have got a prop at fullback. We're not going to have as much pace as we would like. I thought for sure they would think about going for a set play there. So if they can break that first line of defence, we could be in trouble. Lennart Brown now passes out to Geordie Barrett. Piranara drawing pass out to Sevu Reese who's dropped the ball. Not what we wanted to see on the wing there. So Argentina now have the advantage and they are going to kick this one out by the looks of it. They have found touch, so the advantage is over and it will be a line out to the All Blacks now. So the line out will come from where he kicked it. Interesting. I think it may have been carried back, I guess, because we are now in the 22. And I thought that this game didn't actually do that rule, to be fair, so that is why it caught me well and truly off guard. We are driving now. Is this going to be an opportunity for Tuanga Fassi, perhaps, in the back line? Berenara now running. Goes to Tuanga Fassi in the number 15 jersey, and he gets the try. I don't know whether he scored a try at prop all season. But now in the number 15 jersey off, Atuanga Fassi able to score possibly his first try in the 2022 season. It was a rolling mall that started it. We were getting driven backwards at the end. Joe Moody passes to Berenara, draw and pass out to off Atuanga Fassi. And he was able to score the try. Jordy Barrett now with the kick. And I have to say, if Offa doing a fussy, of course we haven't seen Argentina um, on the offense that much yet. But if he's going to keep scoring tries, maybe the number 15 jersey could end up with his name on it. And by that I mean probably more than likely not, because he is a prop. But we will wait and see. Let's kick long once again. It looks like it's going to be Leonard Browns once again. He is tackled by the number 9. We have kept that ball. They don't have a fullback, so this one could be... A bit of a chase model for Berenara. It looks like he's slightly winning the foot race as he gets the number 11. It's going to be close. Who's going to get the ball? And it is their number 11. Who's passed it? And that was, was that Tuanga Fussy there? Yeah, it was. So he was one of the front runners for that one. Berenara with a great tackle on him. But they have still got the ball, Argentina. Number nine now passes out to the number six. Around the side of the ruck's not working out for them. And we are almost driving them backwards towards their 22. No, they're in their 22 towards their goal line at the moment. Whitelock rips, rips that ball away. Goes to Dane Coles now. Is he going to get a second of the match? No, he's not. He possibly should have looked at passing that one, Dane Coles. But I thought for a second he was going to be able to get the second. Xavier now out to Leonard Brown. Tuanga Fussy again. No way. He's going to score a second, Tuanga Fussy. He's in the right place at the right time once again. Still had a lot of work to do. Possibly should have passed it. But no, Offa Toya Fassi gets his second of the match. And tell you what, anyone who looked at our lineups would have thought we were crazy putting him at number 15. But so far, he's on fire. Perinara out to Adi Savi. A Lennart Brown goes out to Offa Toya Fassi. He had Sever Reese on his outside. So it was bold going for the line. But that's what those big forwards normally would do. Barrett taking the kick now and we are winning this match comfortably against Argentina at this point 39 minutes gone so we are still going to get to see the kickoff and at this rate we could almost have a bonus point by the end of the first half if we can score again will Offa Toanga Fasi get his hat trick that is something that could be on the cards at the moment the way the All Blacks are playing Leonard Brown takes that one once again and he is tackled that's got to be Argentine ball there does it no we've still kept that one I think I'm just going to kick this one as Piranara because if they do kick it back it's more than likely they may consider kicking it out 
The number 15 passes it back to the number 10 who has kicked it downfield. That's a good kick. But I think it's going to go dead. Yes, it is. So we are going into half time. I would prefer that scenario rather than trying to pass it on our 22 line, having it intercepted and letting Argentina get a try. But at the moment, the All Blacks winning this match 21 0 and two tries to Tuanga Fasi. We've had more possession, more territory. We've made less tackles. Seven handling errors, not. Not great, and we are looking decent in this match. Hopefully it continues into the second half and it will be the Pumas kicking off. Yes, kick long once again. Who's going to be taking this one? It looks like Dane Coles is. Oh, and he shoved off one. But by the looks of it, that's going to be Argentina's ball, is it? Yes, it is. So they have done well there, the Pumas. Good low tackle from Dane Coles. Almost ripped away by Akira Ioani, but not quite. Argentina still have this one. Oh, we don't want them to break the first line of defence, because if they do, it's more than likely Tuanga Fussy will have his hands full. They have still got that ball now, Argentina. They're trying to slowly work their way up the field. Savia makes the tackle, though. Back to his feet, rips the ball back. Sam Kane now out to Leonard Brown. Has he got a man outside him? I don't think he actually did. No, he didn't. Right, the wind will be behind us this time. Their number 15 is quick. Hopefully. Oh, that's a huge kick. Hopefully that pulls up. Oh, it's not going to. It's just going to keep rolling, is it? No, he has taken that one in the end goal. It's an awkward bouncing ball. Jordy Barrett took that one phenomenally. And he was driving, and we are now at the 22. I'm thinking back line movement here. They seem to have a lot of men right next to the ruck. Lau Mape now fires it out to Leonard Brown. That's a bad offload there. And because of it now we're on. Oh, we're under a little bit of pressure. Oh, it's going to have to. No, Berenau has come across. To help out off Atomanga Fassi. I was getting worried there. I had to try and hold off the tackle as late as I could. Give them as much time as I could to get into position. Oh, that's a good ball. It's going to be off Atomanga Fassi. And he's made a great tackle. And Ferrano has made an even better one. They are about five metres from the line here, Argentina. They're trying to drive over as well. Fafita makes the tackle. Off Atomanga Fassi has joined that, that ruck in the end. Sam Kane driving him backwards. And the All Blacks, no way. They have managed to defend this situation. I'm going to wait for everyone to stop running. Yes, indeed. TJ Perinara kicks it downfield. He was going to possibly look at finding touch, and that ball's still curling towards the touchline. But if it stays in, TJ Perinara is going to try and kick it forward. Oh, no, it's gone out, though. So not quite, but it was very well done from the All Blacks to get out of that situation. They had us under all sorts of pressure there. And then Doing a Fussy actually ended up going back to his forwards days and actually joined the ruck. Oh, that was almost for feet, his ball. The number 10, I think he was going to look at kicking that one. Perinara tackled well. Fafita now to Akira Ioani. Out to Caleb Clark. One more to Geordie Barrett. Draw a pass. Out to Leonard Brown, but it didn't quite work out there. We have still got the advantage as well in this situation. Lamape to Akira Ioani. Throwing a fussy. He's got to go for it, doesn't he? He tried to get the hat trick, and we are going back for the scrum now. Yeah, I had to give him a go to Anga Fassi. He wants that hat trick. Something he's probably never done before. And tell you what, if we win the scrum, if I can pick him out here, we'll go for the classic. Which one is Anga Fassi? I assume maybe it's about that one. Oh, it's the little kick in behind, is it? Geordie Barrett does it. Who's got it? Off oh, Anga Fassi, not able to grab it though, and the mark is taken. Feel like we have got enough of a lead in this match that we can afford to take a couple more risks. It has found touch, so we are going to have a line out, and it will be our throw. Dane Cole throws that one. It's a little bit too straight, perhaps. Could be stolen. No, it's not. Fafita's done well. Now it is Geordie Barrett. Fires it back to Leonard Brown, who's dropped the ball, and it looked bad as well from Leonard Brown. He didn't look safe with that ball at all. He just couldn't. And I am going to quickly make a sub now that I've remembered. Jeez, look at how tired some of our players are. Right, hopefully those subs will be made. But it is a scrum to the Pumas at the moment. But surprisingly, one of the players who wasn't that tired was Tuanga Fassi. 
compared to those other forwards who have had to work very hard in this match. Now Mapo with a great tackle there. Back to his feet, rips the ball back as well. Dane goals now out to Vi for feet. It goes out to Leonard Brown who's dropped the ball a bit. <laughs> He's dropped it again, Leonard Brown. What is going on with his hands? Unfortunately for him this time, he's not getting away with it. And because of it now, he is getting taken off the field. Savi as well as coming off for Frizzell. We are making the change to our front three, all three of them off the field. And then we have also got, um, I think we made one other, I can't quite remember. But Patrick Tuipilotu is coming on the field for Via Fafita and also Leonard Brown off the field after those handling errors. And it is going to be Peter Umanga Jensen who gets to come on. Or oh, they've gone for the set play here, Argentina. And it is looking like it's going to work out for them, is it? No, we have managed to shut that one down. Whitelock trying to steal that ball, not quite able to there. Berenara now with the tackle. Oh, we haven't got that ball yet. We want one more try in this match. The bonus point doesn't make any difference to us. It's just something that we want. Kiriwani steals that one. Goes out to Geordie Barrett who tries to sell the dummy. Geordie Barrett up the middle is going to be able to score. And we have scored the four for the match right on the siren. So because of it now, the score at the end of this match, if I can convert this, will be 28-0 to the All Blacks. And to Anga Fassi, I have to say, he's almost had a man of the match performance at fullback. Scoring twice, and he did make a very important tackle to save the All Blacks when the Pumas were on attack. Geordie Barrett with this kick, is he going to be able to get it? Yes, he is. And because of it now, the score for the match is going to be 28 0 to the All Blacks at full time. And a very almost dominant performance. It was a lot more one sided than the last match, that's for sure. We managed to score four times. Dane Coles. Geordie Barrett, Tawanga Fussy getting two, and Geordie Barrett converting four from four. 56% possession to us, territory was in their favour, 44 tackles in the end. So we managed to just make a couple more handling errors, 10, which is a lot more than a couple, that's for sure, but hopefully we will be able to sort that out before the next match. And line breaks, eight in this match, very happy with that. A good win for the All Blacks nonetheless. It's time to present the trophy. And because of it, the All Blacks have won the Quad Nations 2022 and it is that man Sam Whitelock lifting the trophy. Of course Sam Kane not the captain for this match so unfortunately he is captain the side every other game except for the one that they get to raise the cup. But nonetheless great season for the All Blacks and we still have one more match. There it is the Quad Nations 2022 winners we are the All Blacks. And we have won once again. So now we've only got the last match of the Bledisloe Cup. We are 2-0 up in the series at the moment. So this one doesn't matter too much. But we still of course want to get the win. I will be trying to do a few more of your requests in this video as well. I'm slowly working my way through them. But there were quite a few. So thank you all for that. But anyway that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.